So in this video, I'm gonna show you my eBay setup. So here's my eBay station. It's not the most technical one, it's quite basic, uh, but, and it doesn't really need to be super, super technical. Uh, so anyway, this is my setup. I'm gonna walk you through all of this in a second. Uh, when you're first starting out, you don't need all this stuff. You could just start out, you could just start off with a cell phone. And as long as you've got your phone, that's pretty much all you need. You can use that for taking your photos, you can do use it for making your listings, you can use it for, for doing your shipping, and um, when you're doing your shipping, actually, I mean, I print all mine out on the printer, but um, you, you can just write it on there by hand. So when you're first starting out on eBay, I recommend that you don't go out and just buy everything. Just start out on something that you've already got. So if all you've got is a phone, maybe start off on the phone. Uh, but anyway, this is my setup here. So up here, I've got a TV that I use as a computer monitor. So starting off from this side, I've just got a laser printer. So um, when you're printing shipping labels, you can either write the shipping labels out by hand, you can write it directly onto the parcel, uh, or you can print it onto a piece of paper, or you could print it onto a piece of sticky paper. Uh, what I do, I print it onto invoice paper. So I stick the address on there, I, st I stick the return address on the back, and then I can put the invoice inside the parcel. And then I use this machine here, which is a franking machine, which pretty much is, it just prints out stamps. And if you're doing a lot of postage parcels, uh, this just makes it a little bit cheaper. So when you're first starting out, you don't need this. Uh, I would only really go for a franking machine if you're maybe selling 30, 40 items a day. And then it might work out a little bit more cost effective to do your postage with one of these. But when you're first starting out, then forget it. The easiest way to do postage, and I've done a video on this actually in the last eBay video, uh, if you go back and watch that video, I'll show you how the, all the different ways of doing postage. Super, super easy. So next down here, I've just got the, the packaging materials that I use the most. So this here is the most common size of bag that I use. These are just mail bags uh, here in the UK. These are the sealed air ones, or they, or they do jiffy bags. Uh, there's loads of different uh, company names, and you probably call them all different things around the world. Padded mail bags, some people call them. So this is the size that I use most of the time, and I'm going to show you more sizes in a minute when we go upstairs. Uh, this here is another common size. Boxes wise, uh, this here is the, the, the biggest box that you're allowed, allowed to have under a small parcel here in the UK. So I've got a few of these here. A few more boxes here. These ones here are a bit smaller. And then over here, I use this packing paper stuff, a bit like what Amazon do. But if you ever bought anything from Amazon, uh, they kind of put everything into a box and then they scrunch a load of this paper paper up and lob it in the box just to take up all the free space so i find this is easier to use than bubble wrap bubble wrap takes up a lot of space it's harder to use this you just tear a bit off crunch it up chuck it in the box job done so for space wise you don't actually need that much space and when you're holding your inventory it kind of depends how much stuff uh, or how bigger stuff you actually sell. If you're only selling smaller stuff that fits into these sort of things, which is what I recommend most people sell because it's cheaper to buy, it doesn't take up much space, it's just easier all round. And um, you probably just need a, a tiny area like this and then maybe you could put, a, I've, got, um, I've got my storage upstairs, but you could put a rack in up here, for example, and you could have like six foot by six foot space would be more than enough to build quite a substantial eBay store. I mean, when you're first starting out, I mean, you could just have a box this size with small items and just keep it under your bed. I mean, when you're first starting out, you do not need much space. And as you scale it up, it depends how big you're going to scale it. I mean, for me, the way that I operate my eBay store, if I had all my inventory, I could probably fit it all into here. And this is just one room. This is just an average size room. Uh, so if you've got like a spare garage or a spare bedroom, perfect. But then of course, there's other companies that really scale it up massively, making multiple millions, and then you might need a whole warehouse. So here we are upstairs in my storeroom. Now a lot of this stuff is just, just normal junk, you know, eBay stuff and YouTube stuff. Some of my inventory I keep on the shelves up here. Uh, but I'm probably, it's all a bit mixed up at the moment. I'm still sorting it out. I've got a lot of stuff on the floor here. Uh, so by the time I've sorted it all out, it's probably one of these racks worth it would be all my eBay products. I've still got to sort it all out up here. I mean, I need to put some more racking up. I need to sort it all out. It's, a, it's just a great big mess at the moment. But I like to buy all these boxes in bulk because when you get them in bulk, it just works out a lot cheaper. So I've got more boxes up here and then these mail bags as well. I've got a whole load of them up here, look. And it just works out a little bit cheaper when you buy them in bulk. So when you look on here, look, 
here's all the different sizes. So we have the CO, that's the size that I like here, and we've got the E2 as well. As we said before, this is the largest box that you're allowed to have under small parcel, and that's the size there. That's a small parcel here in the UK. If you're in America or somewhere else, it's probably going to be different. So that's pretty much it. You know, if you're first starting out, you don't need much. You can just use your phone. You can write the addresses onto the parcel directly just by hand. Um, if you're going to take it a little bit more serious, you really do want to get yourself a computer like a PC or a Mac and a printer, something to print out your postage labels. It's, it's, it's going to save you a whole load of time and it's going to make it a whole lot easier for you. But you don't need a crazy, crazy setup. You know, most of the stuff you've probably already got when it comes to a franking machine. Don't worry about that for now. You know, go with that later on if you're really selling a lot of stuff. For now, you can just use the eBay postage printer. Super easy to click on print postage label. It prints it out. It takes the money out of your PayPal account. You stick it on. All you've got to do is take it down to your local post office, post it off, done. That is it, finished. So I hope you like this video, guys. If there's any other stuff you want to know about this eBay stuff, give me a comment down below and I may well make a video. So for now, I'm going to put a playlist on the side here somewhere uh, from all the other uh, eBay videos that I've made. So go and check those out. It's like a little mini eBay course. It's basically teaching you the basics of how you can start selling on eBay. Hi, guys. See you soon.